So when you say the word archive, what, what does it make you think of? Maybe a dusty, old, boring, irrelevant? Or maybe it's compliance, legal, e-discovery, it's a necessary evil. Or maybe it's expensive storage, infrastructure cost, complexity, running out of steam. See, I think it depends on, on what your job is. Because most archiving systems were built in the era of on-premises IT and were focused on benefiting very few people in your organization, making archives a pretty unloved thing. But as we see what's possible with cloud computing and the increasing strategic value of data, we thought that it was time to look at archives a little differently. Of course, at the core, an archive is a centralized repository of unstructured data, like emails and documents, and these have been copied from production systems like email servers to ensure that they're safely preserved and, and that huge accumulations of data doesn't bog down production systems. And of course, an archive is also a nicely aggregated grouping of data that might have come from different systems or owners, overcoming this data fragmentation problem, bringing some order to data chaos. And of course, this is all frequently associated with ensuring compliance, perhaps with regulations like GDPR and managing e-discovery tasks. But we asked ourselves the question, can your archive be a much more significant and strategic asset to your business? And we asked, can it be far more useful to your IT operations team than you perhaps initially thought too? You see, what, what an archive really is nowadays is your digital memory. And that's a vast treasure trove of corporate knowledge. But it's also a treasure trove that's complex to harness, a repository that must respect the bounds of privacy. And it's a repository that must be secure. So we've spent years on this. And I believe that today we are one of the longest running large scale cloud archive operations in the world. Tens of thousands of customers, including some of the most information sensitive and demanding organizations in the world, trust us. And that list keeps growing. Uh, we have established an incredible opportunity to innovate on behalf of thousands of organizations to make their data safer for the long term but also much more valuable and so that you can take advantage of what comes next. And we want to share more of that with you now. So we spent our time doing three primary things. Firstly, making this platform extremely cost effective for our customers, really so that it's a no brainer to invest in an archiving strategy for organizations. Because we believe that every organization should have an archive, not just the compliance driven ones. Secondly, We've made this the best performing archive so that when you're looking for data, it comes back fast. Fast like Google is fast. Because data that can come back fast can be much more useful, it can help you think, discover and remember things. It's your digital memory and it needs to be quick to support your own memory and recall capabilities. And besides, the world has enough slow and underperforming archives already. And thirdly, We've worked really hard to make this archive. No, actually ignore the term archive. We've worked really hard to make your corporate data valuable and accessible to each person and function in your organization that has a stake in it. And that's taken a lot of work to deliver something truly valuable to everyone in your organization, to make this data repository valuable and meaningful to all your stakeholders. This has taken some serious innovation and design. And here's what I mean. So we've grouped stakeholders into four major groups, end users, compliance and e-discovery users, IT operations, and of course, developers. Now, of course, there are different types of users within each one of these groups. And we have capabilities that help these too. So, so for example, our integration with salesforce.com helps salespeople in the end user group, whereas Perhaps smart tagging can help someone who is an end user in account management, for example. But let's, let's look at how we've innovated to help deliver advantages to each of these four major groups. Firstly, end users. So imagine being able to just delete data or emails from your inbox guilt-free, knowing that you could find anything again in a few seconds. Well, that's how our users work. Without leaving Outlook or directly on the phone when on the move, 
they can find anything again, fast. Secondly, compliance and e-discovery professionals. Imagine being able to cut your costs significantly by finding data fast and paring down to exactly what you need in an investigation or a case. We're talking about searching multi-year repositories, petabytes of data. It's needle in haystack type stuff. We're often in the past, just finding the haystack in the first place, that's been the challenge. The needle would be luxury. And so costs run up. We've worked hard to make your workflows easy, your responses instant, saving your time and your money and giving you a clear picture of your situation fast. Third, let's talk about developers. Now, we can't imagine all of the ways in which you may want to use your valuable corporate data now nor in the future, but we know that your data is valuable to you. So we built an API for you to use and you can integrate your data into other applications. Or you could use some of our pre-built integrations, like our tool that allows your CRM to know what your email archive knows about a customer or a prospect. So no more guessing, and it's, it's powerful stuff. Now in the future, as you think about leveraging machine learning or perhaps AI, having control of your data and API-driven access to leverage these emerging technologies That'll be even more strategic and a competitive imperative. So we're getting you and your data ready for that too. Finally, IT operations. Now we've heard time and time again that archives on premises are slow, often unreliable and unpredictably expensive. And they require a lot of infrastructure to run and they swell in size, needing to be backed up and now, of course, they don't integrate well with cloud solutions like Office 365 and G Suite. So we fixed that. Incredible performance that your users will love. Predictable per user costs year over year. And seamless integration into Microsoft and Office 365 investments. So we spend a lot of time thinking about how to make your migration of your legacy data over to us easy. and we built in the ability for you to use your archive data to restore data in Exchange and Office 365. Because here's the thing, at some point you'll be glad you had an independent backup. It's malicious action, ransomware, technology failure, or even human error. They can all risk your data in your live systems. And when something goes wrong or data goes missing, you're prepared because we make it easy for you to get that data back. So this is how we've changed archiving, and we think you'll love it.